subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for Tableau Server Certified Associate. So let's get started. Question number 1, which events does the Tableau Server allow notifications for? Your answer is, well, a TSM administrator configures the Tableau Server to allow notifications for the events given below. 1. Content updates. 2. Drive space. 3. Server health monitoring. Question number 2. What are the two approaches used for mapping in TSM? Your answer is. The two approaches used for mapping in TSM are. 1. Dynamic port assignment. 2. Manual port assignment. Question number 3. How can we change the port range? Your answer is. The simplest way to fulfill the requirements of the organization control, is to change the range from which ports are dynamically selected. This has to be done at installation, by specifying a minimum and maximum port for the range in the configuration file. Question number 4. Name the term licensing models. Your answer is. 1. A role-based license metric. 2. A core-based license metric. Question number 5. Explain the use of role-based license. Your answer is. A role-based license metric lets us deploy Tableau Server on single, or multiple computers in a cluster. Each user that accesses Tableau Server has to be licensed and assigned a role. Moreover, administrators can add users on the basis of available licenses of each type. Question number 6. What are the functions of TSM? Your answer is. TSM is used to perform the following functions. 1. Ongoing configuration management, containing the editing settings and altering the server topology. 2. Configuration of Tableau Server after installation. 3. Running administrative tasks like restore, backup, and zip logs. Question number 7. What are the requirements of the run as service? Your answer is. The run as service account requires permissions allowing the modification of files and registry settings. Additionally, the account must be given rights to log on as a service, because the run as service account is used as the security context for the tab server application manager service. Question number 8. What do you mean by cube data sources? Your answer is. Cube data sources are also called multidimensional, or OLAP data sources. They have specific characteristics that differentiate them from the relational data sources, when one works with them in Tableau. Question number 9. What is the role of Tableau Server Gateway Process? Your answer is. The Tableau Server Gateway Process is basically an Apache Web Server component. Its purpose is to handle requests to the server from all the clients including Tableau Desktop, a proxy, mobile devices, a load balancer, and more. Question number 10. Define load balancing. Your answer is. Load balancing can be defined as the efficient, and methodical distribution of network, or application traffic across several servers in a server farm. Hence, it ensures that no single server bears too much demand. Question number 11. What is OpenID Connect? Your answer is. OpenID Connect is basically a standard authentication protocol that allows users to sign into an identity provider like Google. After successfully signing into the IDP, users are automatically signed into Tableau Server. In order to use OpenID Connect on Tableau Server, the server has to be configured to use the local identity store. Question number 12. Explain Trusted Authentication. Your answer is. Trusted authentication allows us to set up a trusted relationship within Tableau Server and one or more web servers. When Tableau Server receives requests from a trusted web server, it assumes that the web server has handled the required authentication already. Question number 13. What is the use of Mutual SSL? Your answer is. Mutual SSL helps in providing a secure, direct access experience to the users of Tableau Desktop, Tableau Mobile, and other approved Tableau clients. Moreover, with the use of mutual SSL, when a client with a valid SSL certificate connects to Tableau Server, the Tableau Server confirms the existence of the client certificate and then authenticates the user, on the basis of the username in the client certificate. Question number 14. What is distributed installation? Your answer is. 
Distributed installation also called a multi-node installation, requires multiple computers so that one can install and run server processes on those distributed nodes. Spreading the server processes out over multiple nodes helps in extending the reliability and efficiency of Tableau Server by offering redundancy and extra computing power. Question number 15. Define web authoring. Your answer is, web authoring controls whether browser-based authoring is enabled for the site. Thus, when the web authoring for workbooks is disabled, users cannot generate or edit published workbooks from the server web environment, rather should use Tableau Desktop so as to republish the workbook. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.